Hello guys, so I'm here. Uh, welcome to this uh, FB Live uh, this Sunday. Um, Tayin muna natin yung mga kababayan natin para makapag-join dito sa ating nakaschedule na FB Live. So, kagaya nga ng nasabi ko, ay in between 8 to 9 p.m. Philippine time. So, mag-FB uh, Live ako. So, hindi ko lang talaga <clears throat> specify kung which time talaga kasi alam nyo naman pag Sunday may mga mga lakad tayo or personal activities uh, with the family. So, confirm lang guys kung uh, naririnig nyo ba ako uh, with my voice. Kung klaro ba or kailangan ko pang lakas-lakasan yung Bosses ko. So, um, itype ko lang ha. Baka hindi nyo maririnig yung voice ko. Uh, please. Uh, um. <clears throat> Alright. So, thank you, Chumbi Piscos uh, from Tainan, Taiwan, for the confirmation. Alright. So, ayun. Uh, ayan, ayan. Nag- uh, to join na yung mga kababayan natin from uh, different parts of the world. So, again guys, welcome to this uh, FB Live. Uh, happy Sunday to all of you. God bless to all. Uh, ito, ito, ito na naman tayo at uh, ang hangarin ko dito or uh, goal is to share to you some of my, you know, uh, blessings na my skills ako na makapag-analyze ng stock market sa Pilipinas at marami sa mga kababayan natin ang talagang nag-aabang ng uh, magagandang mga tips galing sa akin. At uh, alam niyo naman na nagka, uh, mayroon akong stock mentorship program at may mga estudyante ako or may mga subscribers ako sa aking weekly stock updates. So, especially sa mga kababayan natin na mga newbie pa lang or amateur at hindi pa masyadong uh, kabisado kung ano nga ba yung mga companies na magandang bilhin. So ngayon, uh, or kahapon, nagpost ako dito sa aking uh, personal FB page that I'm very much overwhelmed dahil sa mga natatanggap kong mga mensahe na gustong magpaturo sa akin or magpamentor or mag-subscribe sa aking weekly stock updates. And because of that, I'm really inspired to, to give a shot of uh, doing again another FB Live. So it's a kind of form of an act of gratitude or pagpapasalamat sa ating mga kababayan dahil uh, sa pagtatangkilik nyo sa aking uh, mentorship program. Kaya, of course, uh, in return, uh, binabalik ko naman yung blessings sa inyo. So, ayun guys, uh, yung mga kababayan natin ay nag, ano na, nag-suggest na dito ng mga stocks na gusto nilang uh, i-analyze natin. At uh, sinabi ko dito na pakipusuan na lang or pakilike <laughs> para kung, kung uh, nabagmit na yung stocks na gusto mong i-analyze natin ay uh, pwede nyo nang pakipusuan or pusuan na lang or like para makount natin kung saan dito yung mostly na gusto ng anong nakararami. So, as you can see, okay, so MRC, dito si MRC. Now, oy, talagang marami ang bumuhat ako now. Dito si Vita, dalawa lang. GT Cup, wala. Isa lang. Uh, RLC, si Manu nag-request nag, uh, ng RLC. Si RLC, for sure, that is good. It's, that's really for midterm and, and long term. So actually, that is one of my recommended stocks. So RLC, hindi nga lang siya kagaya ng Vita na talagang nag-spike agad. Si RLC, kailangan lang ng patience. So in that case, investing talaga yung, yung RLC pang investing. CLI, ECP, CHP, may tatlong ano, pinusuan, tatlong beses. Uh, SSP, ION, MRC ulit, CLC, WPI, ABA, ito ulit, CHP plus NOW. 
HBN, uh, ANI, SPC. Now ulit. Now ulit. So, so far, CHPN now na. Yung nangunguna sa butuhan. Uh, ano pa? Pupi. CLC ulit. So, okay. So, nakailang beses na banggit si, ano, si CHP, tsaka si now, at tsaka si CLC. So, ayan na muna for, for now. So, kung may time pa tayo, edi uh, mag-pick pa tayo ng isa pa. Right? So, okay. So, balikan muna natin kung sino na yung mga nagjo-join sa atin. So, comment lang guys kung uh, galing kayo saan. Uh, at para naman ay uh, malaman natin kung uh, hanggang saan ba na abot itong ating FB Live. So, by the way, I am... Uh, Uh, broadcasting live here from Budapest, Hungary. I have been here already for six years. I live here and I work here. And um, but I, I visit uh, my family at home in Philippines uh, every two years. In fact, uh, I will be in July in Philippines. So watch out for me, guys. <laughs> so de bakasyon na ako, wala akong seminar. But I will be in Philippines next month. So. Of course, I, I also try to, to encourage my mga, mga kaprobinsya ko doon na uh, mag-invest sa stock market. So, I will, we will see. But okay, so marami na. From Malaysia, si Edison. Wow, Edison, thank you. So, so uh, personally, I'm saying thanks to your very nice feedback. Dahil sa nice feedback mo, maraming nag-message uh, sa akin ng mga newbies, mga amateurs na gusto magpaturo sa akin. Salamat ulit, Edison. Alright, yeah. So, saan ka ba, Edison? Taga, <laughs> saan, an, ano yung, ah, taga, hindi ko, Malaysia. Okay, so, uh, Laguna, Canada. Wow, naabot pala ng Canada. Okay, si Aileen, uh, nag-subscribe uh, newly. Newly subscribe, new subscribers sa King Weekly Stock Update uh, a few days ago. Genevieve, Willie from Bahrain. Wow. Uh, hello sa inyo. Willie again, Mariano. Junbi. Alright. Uh, marami. Marami ng mga kababayan natin. Talagang I, I'm very much uh, glad na tumadami yung mga Pinoy na gusto talagang matuto mag-invest sa stock market. Kasi alam naman natin na halos walang 1% ng mga Filipinos yung may alam. Diba? So if you know how to invest in the stock market, you are very much uh, a lucky person and uh, Uh, you have now the edge or that opportunity to become financially free sooner or later. Kasi, you know, you know naman that uh, stock investing, stock trading is one of those powerful ways to achieve that financial freedom na, na inaasam-asam ng marami. Alright guys, so again, uh, we have uh, CHP, CHP number one, uh, number two, now Number 3, CLC. So, right. So, let's get it on para ma, 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 tapos natin ito agad. Alright. So, first and foremost, alam naman natin na talagang down na down talaga itong downtrend si CHP for a very, very long time. Almost more than, or more than a year na nga. At marami mga kababayan natin na nag-invest sa IPO uh, price at hanggang ngayon ay ipit na ipit pa rin sa CHP. I'm sorry about that guys. But kung sino man ang nakapag-encourage sa inyo na mag-invest sa CHP during the IPO, uh, I don't think it was really a great idea kasi nakita naman natin na uh, ito, grabe yung, uh, yung uh, pag-depreciate ng price niya. Kung i-measure natin yan, ilang percent na yan from this point. To this point, that is negative 67% down. Kung nag-invest ka dito at hanggang ngayon ipit ka, so you are down with negative 67% in just one, uh, within one and a half year time frame. So, okay, it's only paper loss, but still it's, it's really, it's really uh, very much... Uh, Uh, on the downside. So, ang tanong ngayon, uh, maganda na bang mag-invest sa CHP? Or maganda lang siyang i-trade? So, first and foremost, uh, CHP 
is still uh, struggling with its earning. Nakita niyo naman dito na earning last quarter is negative 71.3%. Negative, guys. It's not good. Red flag. Ito naman, uh, at the end of the year, this is the annual report, negative 53%. So that is not a good sign. If we are considering the fundamentals of this company, the fundamentals of this company is bad. But uh, looking at the future, uh, according to my research, uh, there is uh, there will be a potential uh, uh, significant demand that is upcoming for cement uh, companies or say for demand for cement on the coming year and the next year because of. Uh, build 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 the uh, program of the government so we will see uh, how how it will really go but uh, the eagle uh, stock is the one which seems to be uh, impacted already by this so nauna na si eagle so baka so baka maybe yeah, maybe the chp sumunod naman so from my standpoint i always look at uh, the current status uh, of this uh, stock at, at yung, yung, ano niya, yung historical performance niya. Because in this way, I can predict what will be the future based on this its historical performance. So historical performance of CHP is not good. Therefore, I don't expect that it will be good later. So in that case, I will, be, I will not be investing in CHP, but I will be trading CHP at Ito yung ano, rason kung bakit. As you can see in a daily chart, uh, CHP was really in a heavy downtrend. Dito, uh, from last year, November, it attempted to, to rally and cross the 50-day exponential moving average. So that was, that was really a good move. In fact, many of my subscribers could profit many times from this because of our strategy to in and out from this trade so for instance we went in from this uh, higher low and take profit at this high when it crosses the uh, 50 day ama take profit re-enter again at a pullback take profit to it re-enter at a pullback take profit and then after three times taking profit hindi na ko advice na mag-enter pa ng trade. So, during this time, there was a bad news that came out about CHP. Uh, that's why I did not uh, advise my subscriber to buy CHP. So, since then, uh, downtrend yung CHP. Uh, inaabangan na lang namin ito. Uh, Nakikiramdam <laughs> ng mga, na mga nagpo-post kung uh, bibili ba sila. So, this is one of my secrets, guys, that uh, I, I am also part of other groups, but I am also looking at what they are posting. So many people, many newbies, many amateurs are, uh, you, you have already heard this experience, na hype daw sila. So in my case, I am also looking at, uh, at other people's posts, kung ano ba yung tinitingnan nila, but it doesn't mean that I will be following what they are buying. So what I do, uh many people in the group are talking about it but my job is to double check it with my chart double check also what's going on on the edge pse website kung mayroon bang mga, mga disclosures or mayroon pagbabago ng fundamentals then saka ko bibilhin pag if it really tells me to buy according to the chart or according to its fundamental changes so okay so from 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 january until now nakita niyo naman na price is really just below the 50 day exponential moving average so yeah, hide ko muna yung ibang moving average <clears throat> and uh, it means that the, the the stock is really in a downtrend dito tinest niya yung 50 day exponential moving average but hindi siya nagkaroon ng follow-through to confirm na nag-break na yan. So, in that case, no reversal. So, nag-continue pa rin yung, ano, yung downtrend dito. Niretest ulit dito at continue. At nandito ulit tayo. Niretest ulit yung 50-day exponential moving average. 
So if you are a subscriber of my weekly stock updates, I told them this. Buy if one R candle closes above R1. That is my, my advice. This is for those who are not yet who did who was not able to catch uh, buying it in the buy zone. Kasi kung, kung, uh, we will disregard that last candle. Dito yun. So dito yung ano, resistance ito dati. Uh, uh, in, in, my case, in our case, we want to be in the trade as early as possible. Para, pag, kasi pag early as possible kami nakakapasok, uh, maliit yung risk kasi yung cut loss, le, cut loss namin is just very close to the buy zone. So that's why we take that risk, but a small risk only. If we enter, uh, uh, enter a buy once it breaks this previous resistance. So ito yung colorize ko ng red to indicate that it was a previous resistance. So right now, na break yan with uh, really one day uh, candle at mayroon pang uh, mataas na week at the bottom of it which indicates that there is really a buying pressure. Plus, there is a volume, a high volume. So in that case, it was a good buy. But but I advise them that uh, adv ad advise them that uh, we need still to break this R1. So ito yung R1 which is in confluence with this resistance level here in the 50-day exponential moving average. So once we break in, we can, uh, uh, once we break in, we have that, now we have that sign of reversal for this uh, CHP. So for those uh, who bought here, we have here a first TP1. This level, kasi ito, resistance. So, kung uh, i-plot mo, looking at the left side, may kita mo dito yung, ano, yung, yung flat na bottom. So, minsan, uh, ginagamit ko yung lines lang to indicate, uh, to, to really see it from, from the line drop. So, ayan. So, I consider it as resistance. So, you know, re, uh, CHP, sometimes uh, very tricky. Ala, uh, akala mo, magre-reverse na, pero mag-sell off pa pala. So, nakita niyo naman dito yung nangyari, di ba? So, we learned the lessons from here. That after it crossed the 50-day exponential moving average, niretest pa nga niya, nag-pull nag back pa. It went up with the rally, but dito binuhusan. So, we want to, to, we want to learn, we learned from that. That's why we don't want to, to uh, be too confident na kapag nag-cross ito ng 50-day exponential moving average, ay tuloy-tuloy na. Hindi. So we always uh, we will always uh, check that at TP1, uh, will there be some weakness of the trend or not? Kasi pag magkaroon ng weakness dyan, mag exit kami. Pag mag exit kami dito, abangan na naman ulit namin yung pullback. It's either here at R1 or at the buy zone ulit. Then papasok ulit kami ng isa pang buy. So naka-profit ka dito. How much profit is that if you buy at R1? That is around... 6.9%. So for those naman na nakabili sa Bison, how much is that? 10.99%. So, di ba magandang profit na yan, di ba? Within less than one month only. So if we will we will try to to estimate how long will it take to reach TP1, we can use this one. This trend angle, kung makikita mo yung launch, uh, papaano siya nag-launch itong uh, dito from here sorry, this and this you will be able to project an angle which will show to you how long will it take for the CHP price to reach TP1 my estimate is it will reach TP1 at June 25 so June 25 so some somewhere on that week so from here, babantayin namin na uh, will the trend be, become strong to trend plus the volume plus the momentum? Will it be enough to break that TP1? Kasi pag nabreak yung TP1, pupunta ngayon yan sa TP2, which is the next resistance. So dito yun, 
dito yun at saka dito <laughs> so that is our next tip ito uh, i mean take profit all right so again we check here at tp1 that if the trend will become weak and the volume is not uh, increasing that much the momentum is going down we take profit but if the other way around is happening we hold the stock until such time uh, it reaches close to tp2 <laughs> of course there will be some fluctuation in between but consider we consider that as pullback uh, so we take profit at tp2 right so ganun yun so tingnan naman natin yung iba pang uh, EMAs for instance, uh, tingnan nyo yung, yung EMA20 at saka yung EMA9, malapit na siyang mag-crossover, di ba? At pag itong, itong EMA9 pati EMA20 mag-crossover pa kay EMA50, we have a confirmed reversal. So, of course, it should be confirmed from the volume in the momentum. So, momentum, I use uh, DMI. I mean ADX, so as you can see ADX is only 18, it's quite low. I consider volume as a high if it is above 25 or above 30, the best. But 18, it's not. So we have ADX uh, at 18 only, it's a low, low momentum. So at this stage, we have only low momentum. That's why uh, it's still a question whether it will break R1. So we will see. We cannot predict that unless uh, buyers will really come to, to buy CHP, to push price higher. All right, so that is all about CHP. Of course, uh, if you buy R1, if you buy at R1, you should have a tight stop loss. Like you put uh, your stop loss just below R1. Of course, you should have some kind of buffer that you will not be stopped out from your trade somewhere like uh, here. Uh, below the uh, body of the previous candle, 3.25, for example. So that is all about CHP, guys. So I hope that uh, it, it is uh, very helpful for all of you. By the way, if if R1 won't break, I would uh, I would wait till the pullback will uh, a price will pull back to the buy zone. Can be below. Say, pag dito yung buy zone ka, I mean, yung buying price ko, this is my exit point or my cut loss point. Pag pumunta dito yung uh, price, never ever enter this uh, market. Don't, never consider this as it's bottoming. Kasi pwede pa yung magtuloy-tuloy. Remember, we need to learn the lessons from the past. Tested here, if, if it is testing EMA50, it is, and it wasn't able to, wasn't able to, to break, Tingnan mo naman yung candle na yan, matinding sell-off. Dito, uh, kaya nang sabi ko, uh, nag-break niya siya, but somewhere, some, at some point, uh, nag-sell-off. At matataas talaga na candle yung lalabasan dito. So, remember also na marami din mga ipit dito kay CHP na gusto din makalabas. So, hindi lang yung mga kalaban natin dito, if you enter a trade with CHP, people who are... Uh, bullish and taking profit and the second uh, uh, group of people are those who are still epic from above na gustong uh, minimizing loss all right so that is all about chp guys so kumusta ko naman dito yung mga manonood natin so i am 51 viewers at the moment hello hello sa inyo dyan sa mga uh, ngayon pa lang uh, nakapag join Kumusta kayong lahat at I hope that everyone, uh, may mga kababayan ko sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo ay lahat ay okay. I hope that you are having a great Sunday at bukas ay uh, work ulit. <laughs> so for those who are not really investing, uh, week, weekdays are really bad kasi babalik na naman sa trabaho. But for those uh, tr who are trading and investing, it's an exciting week kasi mayroon na namang trading. So, yan ang, yan ang maganda sa, ano, sa nag invest ka sa stock market kasi instead of becoming disappointed that the weekdays are coming, uh, you are, I mean, instead of becoming yeah, disappointed that weekdays are coming, you are actually becoming more excited. But take note, guys, that in trading or investing, excitement is an emotion 
And we all know that emotion should be isolated from any investment or trading decisions that we do. All right, guys. So, uh, tingnan naman natin yung now corporation. Wow. So I I know that many of you are 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 really uh, following this uh, third telco topic na pinagamat pinamagatan na nating telco series. So abangan na naman natin. Abangan na naman ang mga kababayan natin, ang mga susunod na kabanata uh, sa, sa telco series na to. Kasi last week, sabi, we will meet you later. Poor, uh, so, palaging delay yung release ng poor. We will meet you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so, ano na naman ang, ang, ang uh, susunod nito? We will meet you later again. So, pagod, pagod na tayo sa mga we will meet you later na yan. At uh, hari nawa ay next week uh, lumabas na yung uh, tour na yan. So napakalaga ng tour na to kasi or uh, term of reference kasi dito nakasaad, isasaad yung mga criteria na kailangan mamit ng isang third telco uh, aspirant or, or candidate. Kasi pag once malaman natin yung criteria na yan, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng clue kung sino ba yung sino ba sa mga candidates yung yung mayroon yung mga criteria na yan or nami-meet niya yung criteria na yan. At of course, so let's say na si Now Corporation ay top one sa mga criteria na yan. So we have already that kind of uh, expectation that it, it now will be the next third talk. Alright, so okay, so so Joseph uh, uh, CHP kanina lang na na discuss ko na yung CHP. So kung hindi mo yun napanood ay uh, pwede mong i-replay na lang itong video na to. So kung replay is still possible kung yung NBA nga may replay, yung FB live ko pa kaya. <laughs> Alright, joke lang guys. Right, so ngayon na um, talakayin naman natin si Now Corporation. Right? So tingnan mo, tingnan natin dito kung mayroon ba akong existing chart you now. Ayan. So hindi mo na itong other parameters. Ah, okay. Let's look at the one day chart. Ayan. Actually, pinost ko nga to sa aking FB page. Iwan ko yung mga nagpa-follow sa aking FB page. Yes, makikita nyo rin to. So, I arrived at a TP1 at around uh, 13. So, yan ang target price ko. At uh, pag masagasaan yan, edi happy na ako. Eh, bahala na sila kung mag to the moon ba yan or mag skyrocket. But I, I'm not really uh speculating any any thing which uh, that i all that uh, that i'm expecting that it will be more than uh, 14 or or something or 13 something like that because i always stick to the chart and i always execute what the chart is telling me so you know the chart is an artist sabi pa nga ng mga pro traders the chart is painting what uh, the fundamentals or what is going on with that company whether you know the regardless if you don't know any news or anything about the company the chart can tell you what's going on with the stock or company and it's valid for any kind of uh, instrument in the lang sa stocks kung this forex commodities and and uh, many more many kind of instruments Alright guys, so ngayon naman ay uh, talakayin natin si Now Corporation. So we all know na nagkaroon ng uh, rally previously but nagkaroon din ng sell-off which I consider just a pull. So dito yung support price, main support price natin. Na test yan or nagkaroon ng double bottom. Dito, the first bottom second bottom and then rally and then last uh, may 24 nagkaroon ng heavy buying 
this was this uh, date wherein papalapit na uh, yung supposedly announcement ng tour, TOR. But unfortunately, <clears throat> sabi ng mga taga-oversight committee, we will meet you later. Ayun, na-disappoint yung mga investors. Excel off. <coughs> Excuse me. At makikita niyo naman na high volume. So it's like if you you are you are reading this. Nagkaroon ng buying at that amount. Pero nagkaroon ng selling at almost the same amount. So it's like binawi lang. So may nagpump at nagdump na naman. So it's like we can basically we can basically uh, how do you say, kung cancel out this. Kasi, baga, sinabi kong cancel out kasi nag plus 10, then nag minus 10. So, pwede nating i-ignore to. Which gives us this trend only. Right? So, I I hope that na negates niyo yung, ano, yung logic about this. Ah. Alright, so, ngayon naman, dahil, uh, Dahil uh, nagkaroon ng rally, naglalagay ako niyan ng trend line. So, if the price is staying above this trend line, I, I consider it as on track sa aking analysis na uh, maabot niyo yung TP1. So, paano ko naman na plot yung TP1? It's because of this high, higher high, and this higher high, uh, yeah, I connect together, then plot it, and nag-plot nag, uh, din ako ng resistance dito. Paano ko naman na-plot yung resistance na yan? Inamit ko yung line graph at kinonect ko lang yung this base and this base. Extended to here. Nagkaroon ng uh, confluence between this diagonal line and this resistance line. I consider it as TP1. That's why my TP1, it's somewhere around 13. Alright? So, pag ma-break yan, bonus na yan. Sa, uh, bonus na yan. Kumbaga, but I always uh, stick to the to what I see from the chart. But this is my TP and I will execute myself on that TP. Alright? So, wag niyong pagsasabi sa iba yung TP ko. Ha? Kasi, <laughs> baka hindi maabot yung TP ko. <laughs> Nandun, naka-GTC na yan. So, yung mga subs, uh, mga nanonood lang dito, yun, um, dito ko lang sasabihin sa inyo yung TP ko na nandito yan, naka-GTC sa 13.0. So, let's skip this as a secret. Kasi pag masagasaan yan, hindi eh, happy na ako. Magpapakain si Mayor. <laughs> Joke lang, guys. So, ito yung mga kind of details na makikita nyo sa aking weekly stock updates, guys. So, for those, ito, advertisement na to, ha? For those who are interested to avail my weekly stock updates, is a very, very cheap price for a very valuable information. Do you know how much it is? It's only 1,000 pesos and valid na yan for four months. So, 1,000 pesos, ano yun? 1,000 pesos, pang kape ko lang yan dito, guys. At saka yung 1,000 pesos for you, if you are investing, uh, let's say, minimum of 10,000 or 20,000, isang profit nyo lang in one stock, bayad na ganyan. At one stock lang, ah, at usually uh, uh, swing trades, last three weeks, we have profit. Or one month maximum, we have profit. Or minimum, uh, actually minimum, some of, some of my subscribers can profit within five days only. And I give you an example. For example, Wilcon. Uh, I have a subscriber who just bought Wilcon June 1. Pagka June 6, ano na? Nakatik profit siya. So, tingnan natin. June 1. Yes, June 1. Pagka June 6, nakatik profit siya. 5,000 agad. But the investment was 6,000 pesos. Alright. So, focus naman tayo dito kay now. So, si now... As you can see uh, dito, so favorite ko talaga itong 50-day 50 50 day exponential moving average. Ba? Kasi paano kong ginagamit yan? Very easy lang. So once nag, nag-rally yan above 50-day uh, exponential moving average, nakita nyo naman na si now, 
once above 50 day exponential moving average nagrarally talaga siya at pag nagcross yan sa 50 day exponential nagrarally down ulit bumabagsak yung price ito tinest niya pero hindi siya nagcross bagsak ulit dito tinest bagsak tinest retest nagkaroon ng breakout so after the breakout expect another rally so where is the price uh, with respect to the 50 day exponential moving average the price is still above 50 day exponential moving average guys this is gives giving us hope that uh, there will still be another rally for uh, now corporation at saka if you will check this line graph you will notice that it's just creating a healthy pullback so rally pullback ito yung low niya rally pullback ito yung low niya rally pullback ito yung low niya so if you define an uptrend, it's creating an uptrend is creating a higher high and a higher lows, which is true for Dow Corporation, right? So, where, where, which is the point that uh, will be or might be hit by now? So, ito, at dito nag bottom, niretest, Grali at narutsyon dito kaya mayroon tayong trend line dito. Okay, so mayroon tayong trend line, diagonal support, diagonal resistance. So expect uh, these points na may hit yan uh, next time. At ito yung next. So it's either mag-rally muna at bumagsak, punta dyan, at rally ulit. Doon uh, masasagasaan na yung, ano, yung uh, naka-GD ko sa TP1. So from there, uh, I take profit, wait for another opportunity or for mag pull back ulit, dun, uh, tipping ng kulit kung if it is uh, good to buy or not. So, but as long as the price is just following this trend, this uh, diagonal support, we are good. But if it goes down, maghahanap ulit ako ng, ng support uh, price na kung saan possible siya bumagsak. Of course, ito yung lowest as of now so this is the base uh, base uh, support area but dito this was a resistance before this this point and it can become the next support dito. so ganun lang so i'm not really making my analysis very hard it's very very easy very straightforward but uh, you know guys uh minsan uh we think that because we are not winning some trades, so our investment is not going well. Sometimes we think that our strategy is not good. And then the tendency, guys, is to hop to another strategy and leading you to a never-ending cycle of uh, strategy hopping or, or process hopping, which is really not good, guys. So my advice is that uh, try to use a strategy. Once, uh, once you have... Uh, a losing trade, try to evaluate what went wrong to that strategy and fine-tune it. Then apply it again. Try to evaluate again what went wrong. So ang problema kasi yung iba, uh, once makita nila na yung strategy na yung work, mahanap na naman. Mag okay, uh, ano ba yung maganda strategy? So hindi po maganda yan. This is my advice, uh, guys. Try to make this kind of... Uh, uh, retrospective uh, ano, ba da, uh, ano ba yung dapat kong baguhin or or improve from that trade kung, kung hindi siya successful and another thing is that many guys thinks that uh, trading or investing is just all about techniques for me guys in my own opinion it's not only about techniques for me I consider this recipe that we have, I need to have 40% technique and 60% is psychology. So I give you an example, guys. For example, uh, this one, now corporation has the price of this. So many guys will think that <clears throat> I need to enter a trade kasi I will miss this trade. Baka tumaas na, papasok na ako dapat dito. So we don't allow a kind of, uh, we don't, <clears throat> we don't, uh, put in our mind uh, nandito yung pinaka base support so in that case uh, there can be I, I will be waiting for that opportunity na mag pullback siya dito 
or dito malapit sa diagonal support so men uh, this is a very basic fault of any traders na uh, because of that fear or fomo uh, fear of missing out papasok sa trade dahil uh, nababahala na hindi siya uh, hindi siya makahabol uh, never think uh, in that way guys kasi pag mamis mo yung trade so what did you lose money no you just need to find another uh, stop na kung saan uh, na timing yung ano mo yung na, nata timing or natutugma sa buying price mo at yung current price niya nasa buying zone mo or pag hindi pa na nandoon sa buying zone mo it eh, wait ka lang muna uh, maglagay ka lang ng price alert para para ngayon uh, pag bumagsak yung uh, price niya sa buying zone mo then you can buy right so this is the so called the technique they have so called trading in the zone i think you have here ready some guys or in youtube na merong author na bigla lecture niyan na yung pinamagatang ano uh, trading in the zone so kapareho niya rin niyan uh, sa technique ko uh, <clears throat> i just trade only on those important zone those uh, zones na nasa in between uh, ignore ko lang muna uh, that's i consider that as a, a holding period or an observation period <clears throat> sorry all right guys so that is about now preparation so of course pag break itong tp1 it really means that uh, something is something must be really uh, happening or must be happening at the background na lumalakas yung uh, potential ni now corporation maging third telco saka yan magre-break right so in that case dito na yun uh, sa so next sider here or here next tp so kung punta tayo sa line graph it's either here or here okay so hindi natin matansya kung saan saan talaga pero yung kitagawa ko dahil hindi naman tayo hindi it's not really a exact science drawing lang ako ng area Kaya nga yung support at resistance, those are not specific points, but they are areas or zones. So, ayan. Teka lang. Draw ko ulit itong ano. Okay. And ito yung area. So, it's after TP to breakout, abangan nyo itong 16 area or ito, 17 to 18. <coughs> so, dyan magiging happy yung mga naipit sa ano. <coughs> Sorry guys. Mga naipit dati nung uh, mag si now at expecting na mag to the moon. So, ayan. So, that is all about now. So, ayan. Kumusta naman natin yung mga manonood? <laughs> Kung mayroon pa bang nanonood. Alright. So, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Welcome. Uh, we are at the, actually we just took profit from Wilcon last week. So Wilcon, yung TP namin, nasa 12, 12, 12.2. So marami yung mga, some, couple of my subscribers could really, was very happy, were very happy about Wilcon trade. Kasi nabili nila ng 10.8 or 11, took profit at 12. So ngayon, abangan naman namin yung isa pang pullback another pullback and we enter another buy all right so about clc kanina actually i have another subscriber who was asking about clc so ito this is my my analysis about clc so okay this is a weekly chart i uh, no, not weekly chart let's try to do it quickly okay weekly is too too small so daily chart so kita niyo naman ha yung trend downward trend but this is one of uh, those uh, bull uh, uh, pattern na pwedeng sundan ng ano ng uh, uh, reversal pa ang tawag doon uh, descending channel or, or descending triangle so which usually results to a breakout and the breakout uh, results to a reversal 
So, ito yung base namin. Kasi dito, pumagsak. So, kung i-throw natin yung line graph. So, nakita nyo naman, guys, ha, na I'm not really too de dependent on indicators. At uh, marami kayo maririnig ng mga, mga disadvantage ng indicators. So, for example, I uh, delayed. So, minsan, uh, false signal. So, yan ang mga disadvantage nyo. Kaya nga, I always rely on price action, support and resistance, trend line, at yung pivoting, something like that. At saka, of course, uh, common sense. So, you really need to check the chart from a bigger picture, guys. It's very important kasi trading, uh, chart, uh, technical analysis, it lies on so-called probabilities. And you know, guys, I have been learning probability way back on my engineering years and my education years because I, I'm also a major in mathematics. So probabilities, we have better probabilities on a small sample size. I mean, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, we have better and higher probabilities that something is true if uh, our data is big enough. So once we have a larger and our sample size is becoming bigger and bigger, the probability that it will be true, the, our assumption or theory is true, will be correct um, once sample size is bigger. So, ihalin tulad ko yan dito, guys, na alam nyo naman, di ba, pag nunood kayo ng mga not J.O. Wild, uh, may tinatawag na group of fish that is forming a pattern. Di ba, guys? So, yung mga grupo ng mga isda na yan, walang nagsabi sa kanila na mag-form kayo ng ganyan na pattern. Di ba? Wala. 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 Napo-form na lang yung pattern na yan dahil sa kanilang volume or sa kanilang population. So, lumalabas yung pattern. Nakikita mo yung pattern. And the same is true. Okay. Kuha pa tayo ng ng uh, I do not know exactly what is the the exact term here, but you can see that it's forming patterns once the population or the sample size is bigger. Nakita mo. Kaya nga, sa chart, palagi kong tinitingnan either yung bigger picture na one-day chart or yung weekly chart. Depende sa uh, history ng, ng price kung... Halimbawa ito, last 2018 pa lang. So, of course, konti lang yung price uh, action natin dito uh, compared to a company na nasa PSI na since year 1990s. Di ba? So, ito. Uh, so, my point here is that try to, to look at the big picture kung saan ba, ano ba yung movement ng isang ng price. Kasi once nakuha mo yung bigger movement niya, Ma-anticipate mo ngayon kung ano yung next move niya. So, for example, ito, yung one day. So, nagkaroon siya ng trend line na pababa or uh, this is our diagonal support. This is now our diagonal resistance. Now, it is trying to test to break this uh, resistance here. And once it breaks, that is our signal to buy. So, kaya nga, my advice to my students, my... my uh, subscribers is to check for a breakout CLC we have here a base na parang Y or V B formation this is the downward move and now this is starting to move upward so ito yung higher low once mag break yan magkakaroon let ng uh, rally at pwedeng makreate yung another higher low in that case mayroon na tayong mag-project na trend line na upward in that case, we have confirmed the reversal. But our strategy is to be in the trade as early as we can. So, ito nagkakaroon na ng signs na magkakaroon ng reversal. So, we can enter. But we need to make it sure that our stop loss is just very tight na pag mali kami, mag exit kami uh, with a small loss only. Alright? So, ganun yung ano namin, yung, yung technique. Kasi pag inantay mo masyado, 
na mag-aantay ka pa na mag-cross over itong uh, uh, let's say 100 moving average at 100 day moving average at 50 day moving average baka nandito na yung price so masyadong delayed so that is the reason why I'm not really a big fan of uh, uh, indicators or oscillators <coughs> ginagamit ko lang siya to confirm my, or to have some kind of a uh, good picture kung saan ba pa punta yung price but not really as an indication that it's a buy or, or not so i hope that nakuha niyo yung, yung logic so my priority is to check the price action saan papunta yung price at saka um, i always make sure that the uh, uh, market is showing to me the hands so let the market show where it is heading so for instance ito Maroon tayong trend line dito. So, I, I want that uh, there is a close. Let's say one day candle closing here outside this trend line. Saka ako bibili. So, yan ang tinatawag namin na buy at breakout. So, we only buy when the one day uh, candle closes above this trend line. So, but at the moment, it is just testing the trend line. So, pag mag-enter ka dyan ng buy, saka hindi siya nag 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 ano nag materialize or nag breakout then ipit ka tapos nandito na ulit yung price na bahala ka na nang ipit ka na ayun na sell mo siya nang with a loss so right guys so try to wait patience lang talaga so this is another element of psychology patience 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 so kailangan mag -wait ka talaga na ma-confirm niya yung, yung, yung breakout. So, once a breakout naman dyan, we will again put a cut loss just below this breakout uh, area or uh, resistance. Just below that para pag magkaroon naman ng false breakout, hindi eh, makaka-exit kami. Ang problema lang sa, ano, sa Philippine market kasi hindi natin ma-set ng yung stop loss na automatic na mag-trigger. So in that case uh, pag hindi mo napantayan yung yung hindi ka nakapag-monitor for some reasons at nagkaroon ng false breakout nalaman mo na lang na ipit ka na dito na so at ayaw mo nang i-sell with the loss so that that is a problem so if you are doing swing trading be sure that you have really time to to monitor it if you don't have time try to change the strategy which will allow you to still uh, monitor the market but having that comfort or or lesser stress uh, to be bothered about fluctuating prices all right so that is clc so target prices nakita niyo naman uh, just remember na lang Ito. Uh, and we are not uh, um, so we we just uh, check with those uh, areas na talagang critical ang bawa ito, resistance kung naka-enter ka dito ng buy, tapos iniisip mo kailangan mag-take profit lang ako pag dito na, no guys kailangan, you should, should put into your mind that we need to check uh, the next uh, or the next uh, next possible resistance, kasi baka magkaroon dito ng trend weakness at price rejection tapos dahil lang dito yung take profit mo, hindi ka nag-take profit at nagkaroon ng weakness dito ng trend at price rejection hindi ka nag-take profit, nasayang yung ano, yung pinagirapan mo so let's say dito ka-enter ka ng buy tapos yan, nagkaroon ng uh, price rejection 7.73% profit ka na at hindi ka nag-take profit nagkaroon ng rejection, sayang yung profit di ba? <coughs> But of course, pag mag-breakout naman, eh di, uh, TP to naman yung next. So, ayan guys. So, that's it for today. Tatlong stack lang muna kasi I have to drive now back to Budapest. Uh, so, I hope that uh, this live session was uh, very useful to all of you. So, for those who are um, interested to my weekly stack updates, just write me a message. For only 1,000 pesos valid four months already, you can avail my stock uh, updates weekly. Good for mid-term, long-term, and swing trades also. 
And for those who are uh, interested to my mentorship program, wherein I'm teaching uh, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, momentum trades, trading, you can also contact me for that, and I will send you uh, details how to avail and how to send payments. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much to all of you who are going to join. Uh, I hope that it was very useful and it will make your trade uh, much better in the future. And you know, guys, that my my mission is just really to help uh, fellow kababayans na maka ano maka magkaroon ng income sa stock market and achieve financial freedom. All right, guys. Again, once again, thank you very much. God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.